Hi. How are you going? Hello all. I know we all are stuck at home, but we still need to keep the training going for the kids. So in these next few weeks, I'm going to put up some training videos uh, for batting, bowling and fielding. These will come over the next few weeks. But today we're going to focus on batting. All you need is a bat, uh, a stump possibly and just one tennis ball. So we'll get started. You can start with a really fun warm-up drill where you're trying to get as many bounces as you can on your bat. One hand on the handle of the bat, which is here. One hand holding your bat, which is here. Counting how many hits you can get or how many bounces you can get on the bat. And if you want an extra bit of challenge, you can go on the edge and then come back to the middle. So level one of this batting drill is front foot shots. Tennis ball, bat and a target. In this case, I've got my stump here. You can have anything that you find at home, uh, maybe a bucket or a soccer ball or, or anything that uh, you can keep at a certain distance away you can hit into. So, tennis ball under your chin, take your stance, tap your bat, lean forward, two bounces, one, two, and aim for your target. So, if we go over that again, tennis ball under your chin, lean forward. I see some children uh, in the training sessions, drop the ball right in front of them and then try and hit. That doesn't really encourage a step forward, which is what we're trying to develop. So ensure that the child is leaning forward and then step and try and hit your target. And try that 20 times and then count how many times you hit your target. That's just level one. So one thing you also want to keep in mind, uh, you want to maintain your technique. It's very tempting to step and smack the ball, but that's not really helping you. So step forward, hit the ball, raise your elbow up, left elbow or your right elbow if you're a left-hander. So raise that front elbow up and raise it to the sky. Okay, so now on to level two. Level two is all about balance. Trying to be stable when you're hitting the shots. Hold that position on that front foot as you hit. So this is what it looks like. So same thing as level one, ball under the chin. Tap your bat, take your stance, lean forward. One, two, aim for your target, but then hold this position for three seconds. So three, two, one, and then relax. If you fall over, it's okay, no problem. Try to reach a point where you can hit all your shots without falling over. That's your aim. So try 20 of these, aim for your target, and then count how many times you hit the target and add it to your score from level one. Now it's time for level three. Put the bat aside, pick up your stumps, or one stump, and then your bat can be your new target. If you don't have a stump, you can even use the bottom of the bat. So you can hold the bat like this and use this part of the bat to hit. But if you have a stump at home, perfect. One single stump. And now you're going to try and hit the ball with the stump. Same exact drill. Ball under your chin. Leaning forward. One, two. And try and hit. Oop, I got an edge there. So this is a really good drill to just develop that ability to hit off the middle of the bat again and again. Because you're hitting off a small surface compared to the bat. So you can practice hitting off the middle. If you miss with the stump, it means that you're going to hit the edge of a bat. So practice 20 times and see how many times you can hit the target. One, two. Now once you finish level three, we move to level four. Now one thing that's really important in batting is your front hand. And if you're a right-hander, your front hand is your left hand. If you're a left-hander, the front hand is your right hand. The front hand or your top hand helps you keep the ball down when you're hitting the shots. The bottom hand helps you hit the ball up. You dominate your front foot shots with the left hand. So we can make sure the ball goes down as we hit. And this next drill is really good because you only, you only hold the stump with one hand. The other hand can go behind your back. And then same thing, ball under your chin. Lean forward, two bounces, one, two, and try and hit. We'll try that one more time. Left hand on the bat, right hand behind. Lean forward, two bounces, one, two, step and hit. Now something I've noticed, I can see a lot of them going across when they hit and it's very tempting to step and to smack the ball. That's not going to help with your technique. Make sure that when you step, you go straight through the line 
of your shot. So if the stump can follow the ball, that's good. Okay, and this last level, level five, bit of fun. What you're trying to do is, you're still trying to hit your target, which is now a little bit further away. Tennis ball, you're facing this way to start. Throw it behind you, turn around, approach the ball and hit. So we'll try that again. So this is helping moving your feet. Throw the ball over your head behind you, approach the ball and aim for your target. Oh, that's some hopeless betting. Okay, let me try again. Throw the ball behind you, approach the ball and try and hit your target. So that was your five levels of batting drills that you can practice at home. Have some fun with it. You can move your targets around, have different size targets. You can choose to hit one target at a time. Have some fun, but keep that practice going. Once every two days, once every three days, it's still good enough. Thank you and have a good one.